Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in today's video it's a reminder about the T-Create competition they're currently running with some sponsored content. Also a brief chat about computer components which might help some of you looking to buy a new machine for 3D modeling. If you're interested in videos and buyer's guides for computer systems for 3D then let me know in the comments. This video is more just food for thought about components and a little bit about my experiences. I'd also like to hear from you about your experiences with buying computer components and machine building. Maybe mention other channels that are useful for this. Uh, don't put links in the description though because they get flagged and don't always show up. So just mention their channel and it might guide some people. Now hopefully you won't begrudge me some sponsorship videos that I do now and again as it keeps the channel running. Thanks very much for all your support, it's greatly appreciated. It's something that I've been thinking about a lot and kind of dipping my toes into a little. I've had bad experiences in the past but some good experiences as well. I'm thinking as this channel grows though and it's getting fairly large, I would like to kind of use its size to see if we can't get some free stuff that I can give to you guys in competitions or just simple giveaways. However, that does mean more sponsored messages, but it does also mean some cool prizes. I obviously don't want this channel to be all about the adverts, but maybe we can use the size to get some free stuff. Let me know your thoughts on this. So firstly, a reminder about the competition that's running. It's not my competition, it's from T-Create. You can win a computer worth $3,000 along with other prizes I'll mention shortly. Also, you might want to take a look at my video about the artwork I created as a featured artist. It was really nice to be asked to be a featured artist. Hopefully they appreciate me for my art, not just for my YouTube channel audience, but who knows, that might just be the case. But I'm still proud of my piece and you can see a time-lapse video of my creation in the link in the description. So T-Create were kind enough to send me the RAM and SSDs that you can win in the competition, which is cool, free stuff, it's great. The first prize, as I've said, is a full T-Create machine worth $3,000. The second prize is T-Create RAM, SSDs, and an Asus Pro motherboard. These are both particularly cool because they are meant for pro use, so they're fast, as you'd expect, but they're also durable and stable. You can see the full specs behind me. Like I've said, the main thing here is speed, reliability, and durability, which you get more of if you're going to go to that pro level of components. It's not only the RAM and the SSDs, there's the Asus Pro motherboard as well, and all these components you can kind of see in the background here. Now the components with a Pro label often cost more, and a question I've often asked myself is do I really need it? You're probably thinking, well you're sponsored, so you would say that you do. Well I think it's different for different people. It's a bit like using the experimental build within Blender. It's got some cool features, but you might lose your work. Now the same could be said for hardware, to some degree if you're a hobbyist and you're playing with features and having fun, then go experimental, overclock your PC to the max and have a blast. For me these days I'd rather add a few seconds to render time or fluid sim calculations than risk losing any work or having weird glitches. To be fair, Blender's pretty excellent when it comes to stability, especially for a, such a computer intense program. You'll know what I mean if you've ever used Adobe Premiere, it's probably the most buggiest piece of software I've ever used and I have to use it every day, it's absolutely horrible. Now I tend to buy pre-built machines, but I would say on this is that you should be careful and research the components the builders are using. So if you're hoping to break into the 3D arena as a semi-pro or pro, then as much as you can try to get good components rather than trying to save money. The T-Create stuff is meant for pro artists, so it's all about stability and reliability, which is what I think is a better option where possible. Now I've got to say I'm quite bad for this. As a professional artist and a teacher, I use the computer for hours each day. I should be putting the reliability of this at the forefront, but in the past I've bought machines that I've well, they've not had the best components, trying to squeeze the price and having something like a hard drive fail on you is absolutely awful. It's kind of funny because T-Create have sent me this cool stuff but I haven't had a chance to test it because my motherboard's a bit rubbish. So it's only got two RAM slots, I've got no attachment for these really cool SSDs and I'm a bit disappointed about it to be honest. I brought the machine fairly recently, it's about a year old. T-Create offered to send me the motherboard as well but I'm too scared to take apart my PC whilst I've got so much freelance work and courses to write so I just can't take the risk at the moment. It's something I didn't really consider when I bought my machine. CPUs and graphics cards are what people tend to look for, especially when buying a machine for 3D modeling, and it's the main thing you need to focus on. However, there are other things to consider. The motherboard, for example, can it accommodate better, faster components, such as the ones on offer in this competition? Mine unfortunately can't. I don't know whether it's more a Windows thing, but I keep having issues with USBs not working or stopping working, having to restart my machine, and it's, it's quite frustrating really. 
When I bought my PC it was at the beginning of the pandemic and I was in a rush to get a faster machine because of all the work I had on at the time. Not many PC builders were open or able to get me what I needed in a reasonable amount of time and because of this I didn't choose wisely and kind of rushed to get a PC. So although this might seem like one big advert and maybe it is, hopefully it's still giving you some food for thought when it comes to buying components or computer systems. Again, thanks for all the support everybody gives me for this channel. Let me know your experiences with computers and components and comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.